Hi, this is Steve at BlessedHopeForever.com out here in the barn with Scotty. Just wanted to put a, another quick video up out here for those Christians that are hurting, despondent, uh, fearful, afraid, uh, confused, bewildered, just outright confused as to what's going on in their lives personally as it regards their walk in Christ. Now, there's four things that I want to quickly just touch on. One is uh, our position in Christ. One is our knowing and understanding truth, what God has said is true of us. Another is, is our living in possession of, of all of those wonderful, marvelous gifts of grace that God's given us. And another is to just live triumphantly, you know, with victory. We can, believe it or not, every single born-again child of God can live a victorious Christian life, and it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to do so. It's not like uh, many people think where we have to strive toward holiness and we have to just do everything right, and if we do that, then we'll live a victorious Christian life. We need to understand to live positionally. And by that, what I mean is, is understanding the position that God has placed us in the body of Christ. Where we stand positionally as it regards our relationship with God in Christ. I'm not talking about condition. You know, what we normally would, normally those all those traits that would surface in our daily walk. I'm talking about living positionally as righteous in Christ, knowing that we're righteous, uh, that we've been placed in Christ, in the body of Christ, uh, and we stand before God holy, unblameable, and unreprovable in His sight. So we live positionally, uh, crucified with Christ, risen with Christ, buried with Christ, risen with Christ, even seated in the, in the heavenlies, co-seated with Christ in the heavenlies. We know this from Galatians 2.20. We know it from Ephesians 2, uh, verse 6. And so we can live positively. Now, by that, what I mean is we live positively. We live fully persuaded as to what God has said is true of us. And the only way that we can do that is to actually come to understand our identity in Christ, who we are in Christ, and that's through the Word. You know, we tend to, to look for comfort in other people or other things, and we tend to look for strength within ourselves, okay? You know, we're looking for love in all the wrong places. And then we need to understand that we live, uh, you know, we live possessively, you know, that we all things are, are, are ours, 1 Corinthians 3.21, that we possess all things. And by that, I, that doesn't mean that I possess a, a new pickup or a new tractor. What it does say is that I possess all those things that God has determined that I possess. I possess all things in Christ. There's not one blessing that I'm coming behind of in Christ. He's blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenlies. And then we live triumphantly. We are more than conquerors, Romans 8:37, uh, through him who loved us. And that he loves us. He loves us with an undying, everlasting love, and there's nothing that can change that fact. What I'm trying to tell you folks is that our condition does not affect our position. Okay? That's what I'm trying to say. We tend to walk by sight, not by faith. We need to come to understand that our condition, what we see, all of the ugliness in our lives, doesn't change how God views us. We are positionally righteous in Him. We stand before Him without blame, spotless, without fault. So we, we, li we live positionally. We uh, live positively fully persuaded, we live possessively knowing all things are ours in Christ, and we live triumphantly knowing that we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. I hope that this helps somewhat. 
I want to emphasize and, and re-emphasize the fact that the only way that we can have this peace and joy that we so long for, were, were, that, were that we grow in grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, the only way, our only source of truth is in the Bible, in God's Word. It's the only way that we can know. We can't know these things through any other external source. Look, I love you all. I truly do. Until next time, this is Steve Dan Scotty. Thanks for watching.